where pop music has disappeared to. Your answer may come in the shape of our first guest. Dubbed a rarity, music critics are saying he may well be the love child of Prince and Michael Jackson in a musical sense. Not bad for a 22-year-old Brit, and with a hit album under his belt, he is certainly living up to expectations. Please welcome David Jordan. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so weird. I see you girls on TV and oh. I'm like sitting here. Are you scared? Oh, I'm really, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so big. I'm trying not to move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're very afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I you just love you. your music. I, oh, I, I really you. do. And, and that song goes now. I saw you on the Royal Variety. And that's when I first saw you. Yeah. And I thought, wow, this guy is brilliant. Oh. Image, everything. You're a true pop star. I oh, think you you're just so look sweet. fantastic. Is this your sweet. everyday look or is this your rock and roll look? Um, no, this is my rock and roll look. I wish I looked like this every day. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you have stylists and people like yeah, that? Yeah, she's back. She's, I don't know. Is she, where is she she's gone? around. She's gone now. She's, she's gone for pints. She's gone. You're working. She's down the pub. No. <laughs> it's a good no look, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah. do you think? it suits you I and mean, your you music. Can't, you can't yeah. really go wrong with sort of no. white t-shirts. Listen, you've had loads of loads of sort of you know names I threw around there, and people sort of compared you to James Brown and Prince and Terence Trent Darby. Yeah. Who who were your influences growing up? Who would you um, say was sort of really? I was listening to a lot of like. Uh, yeah, that's mostly it, really. Yeah. James Brown and sort of people like that, and Bob Marley, because my mum like loved oh. to play a lot of reggae. Soul revival sort of stuff. And you got That's discovered right. in a rather unusual way, didn't you? Jill Sinclair discovered me. Now, she is married to the legendary Trevor Horn right. of ZTT, right? Yeah. So how did that, how did it happen? Um, well, I wrote a song called Sun Goes Down, and Trevor's wife heard it, and she was like, you know, this is great, it could be a hit, let's sign this. So, young chap. So from, from, from nowhere to that. Yeah. But didn't you sort of hang around with quite a talented bunch of, of young musicians? I think, wasn't Amy Winehouse sort of in your clique before she was, you know, really big star and yeah, stuff? Yeah, she was, actually. I mean, she was, like, you know, part of friends that we all used to hang about and stuff and just, you know, play Mega Drive and stuff and have, like, house parties. It was great. But when, when she was um, discovered, it was quite a while before you, did, yeah, were, yeah. were you sort of in a place where you thought you, would, you were being kind of left behind? Yeah, or in, well, or... I, all my friends were sort of doing the same thing, you know, they were all hanging out at the same places and they were all invited to go and do these things and I was never because I wasn't signed and I wasn't part of that, so I just, you know, would just chill at home and they'd come back and tell me the story, so, oh, we had it, I know. Oh, no. Did that make you want to Yeah, that made, that, yeah. that kicked my ambition even more. Right. But, you know, it's, it's just something that you kind of just let go and, you know, it's all about timing, though, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, timing's very important. And I think your time is definitely now, because we're, you know, I really do, because I think you're fantastic. Oh, I, I just love it. I think so we've got much. a real star in our making. Uh. You know, it's, it's, uh, I know, I'm, I'm rushing a bit, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> we have to watch him all that dancing. Uh, he's got the Michael Jackson moves, he's well, certainly got the looks, and the voice is fabulous. The uh, songwriting is brilliant. Well, well Janet Donald's not your only Thank famous you. fan, is she? Because you've been on tour already with Rihanna and a yeah. really Yeah, I'm Beverly Knight as well. Well, oh, and wow. Rihanna was my last chick I went on tour with. Chick. chick. <laughs> How's it going with the chicks? Now you're a big it's star. Great. I, I, no, the chicks, the chicks, um, they like surprisingly paying me a lot of attention. They never used to before. Did they not? No. no. They're so fickle. Don't yeah, pay any they attention. Are. <laughs> <laughs> now, now tell us about some of the songs on your on your album because there's there's one that's devoted to someone, isn't there? A uh, girl. Oh, glorious day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on then. Um, does she know? Come on, tell us. No, she does. She, I don't know. She might. She, I, she hasn't told me that she knows, but she might know. Uh-huh. Mm. And they're it's, it's a sort of playing... unrequited love, somebody that you had a crush on and yeah. it never really happened. Yeah, oh. it's never happened. You oh. tell her it'll happen now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's her loss, isn't it? But yeah. what about, there's a political song on there as well, isn't there? Place in My Heart. That was the first song we released. Um, it, was, it didn't actually come out in the shops, but it was like a release. It was mm. um, the first one, and yeah, that's like a political. And, and what's the 
What's the message behind that? Um. Well, it was. Do you know what? I really don't know. <laughs> 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 I really don't know. I just kind of wrote this song and it had a nice little rhyme to it. And then someone was like, what does it mean? And I was like, oh, my goodness. Gosh, so yeah. He had this sort of, like, journalist sort of write up what it meant. Oh. And he, she sort of gave me key words and were like, right, just say that. Like and the government being controlled. Yeah, that's yeah. the one, yeah. yeah that's right, and then people yeah. won't question you after you yeah. just say that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great song. You're going to come back thank and you. perform for us, aren't you? Move on. Yeah. It's, it's out today. And we thank you so much for joining us. David thank Jordan. You. <laughs> For some music, here are the performance of Move On, the third single from his debut album, Set the Mood. It's the latest pop sensation, David Jordan. Snooping around my back door Don't want you on my 